back to the home of critical thinking. Today I'm going to give you guys another video, another breakdown from the Alabama versus Arkansas game. Today I'm going to do a defensive play, probably one of the best defensive plays out of the whole game for Alabama and one that really caught my attention. It was made by Deontay Thompson at safety and it was a really good play that showed his range and speed. But simultaneously on this play, uh, there was a mistake made by a linebacker and it was kind of discouraging at the same time. So I'm gonna break down both of those and then I'm gonna hear your thoughts on it. So first of all, let's get into what Arkansas did on this play. So it was a really good play design by Arkansas, pretty simple misdirection and a great use of personnel. Arkansas designed the play to make the defense think that the play was gonna to go to the right side of the field. As you can see, they have two wide receivers to the right. They have their running back set right to the quarterback. They have an up back um, to the right side of the line of scrimmage, and they only have one tight end in line on the left side of the line of scrimmage. And to make matters uh, even more confusing, after they snapped play, everybody ran a route on the right side of the field, except for the running back, and that's where that comes into. So on this play on Alabama, you have Deontay Thompson playing free safety. He's the lone safety over the top that tells me that Alabama may be playing something like a cover one. And it's kind of confirmed a little bit. As you can see, the play unfolds. They are all playing man coverage. And Deontay Thompson's over the top by himself. Now, Bama's in their 3-4 look because it's only two wide receivers. So they can put both outside linebackers on the field. Arkansas does a play action. One of the interior linebackers here makes a mistake. I think it was Mac Wilson. So as you can see on this play... After the play fake, both linebackers kind of step up a bit and look into the backfield and sees the play fake. If you watch Dylan Moses, he plays the quarterback all the way. If you watch Mac Wilson, he looks at the quarterback's play, and when he realizes that it's a play action, he decides to retreat back into a zone in the middle of the field. Problems with this play is that the running back is free. In Nick Saban defense, Nobody runs free. Nick Saban doesn't make defenses where people just get free. Somebody's supposed to be on the running back, and I believe it's Mac Wilson for this reason. If you see him retreating and he goes into a zone, it will be okay if there wasn't a person already playing the zone that he was trying to play, which was in the middle of the field. And if you can see clearly, Xavier McKinney, number 15, is playing the middle of the field. And he's the strong safety on this play. Which makes sense because the safety in the cover one, the other safety is usually playing in the middle of the field, sometimes in a robber-like situation, which Xavier McKinney has done, and I've made a video on that topic already. So, Mac Wilson's not supposed to be there. He's supposed to be covering that running back in man-to-man -man coverage on the left side of the field, who is now wide open on a wheel route. So even though it's funny because even Dylan Moses recognizes that the running back is free and he starts running before Mac Wilson even realizes it, but it's too late. Ty Story, the Arkansas quarterback, throws it to the running back wide open on that wheel route. But here's the good part of this play. Deontay Thompson comes in saving the day here with his range. He's in the middle of the field when this ball is thrown. Um, and he starts breaking on. So as he that quarterback turns back left, he starts running. But here's what I really like about Deontay Thompson, because not only does he have speed and not only does he have range, but he has good smarts, too, on this play. He doesn't just start breaking on this ball when he sees the quarterback turn this way. He doesn't start running toward the player at full speed. He actually positions himself by running at an angle that will put him at least level with the running back or on top of him if he catches the ball. But once he realizes that Ty Story is throwing the ball directly at the running back and not leading him up the field, then Deontay Thompson breaks on the throw. And this is after he's already starting to be um, hesitant, well, not hesitant, but conservative in how he's pursuing it. And so when he realizes that the throw is coming right at the running back, this is where his speed and range shows because he takes off. And he gets to this ball and he knocks it down with, I want to say two hands on this play, and it could have possibly been a pick if he got there even a little bit faster, which shows you his speed, the fact that he played it conservatively at first and then had the talent to knock this ball down after realizing what type of throw it was going to be. That, my friends, is a good play, and that's why Deontay Thompson's stock is going up higher and higher every week that we see him play. But Mac Wilson, on the other hand, is struggling, and I don't know why. He played much better, I think... Here's my theory. 
I think Mac Wilson is a better wheel linebacker. So I think he's still a good interior linebacker, but I think he he's not as good playing Mike linebacker. If you notice last year, the Mike linebacker was Reuben Foster at the beginning of the year, and Mac Wilson was the wheel linebacker meaning that he just was the linebacker that played in the field. He played in open space, whereas he didn't have to make the calls. And he made a lot of interceptions, and he made a lot of good plays like that. But now he's that guy, and I think he plays better as the free guy. And the interesting thing is, is Dylan Moses trusted enough to be a Mike linebacker? Because that could be a change they make, but it depends on if the coaching staff trust him to be a Mike linebacker, which I'm not sure that they do, which is probably one of the reasons why Mac Wilson is the Mike linebacker, but something has to change on this play on this on these type of plays because otherwise they'll get eaten up by teams who have even better talent, even better schemes. Although Chad Morris, the offensive coordinator for Arkansas, is really good. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Will Mac Wilson get a lot better, a lot faster, or will they continue to struggle? Or will they make a change? What do you all think? What do you think Alabama should do? Do you think Mac Wilson has it in him to be a Mike linebacker? Do you think Dylan Moses should be the Mike linebacker? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.